And we have grogs right there versus rum. All right, our game is in here. Five minute warning has been issued. And we've got Yamato, Kerfirst, Kremlin, and Repulse. There we go, our typical three tier 10s and one tier six battleship. And over on the rum side, we've got Ohio, Kremlin, Turpitz, and Key. Now that's interesting. So they are choosing to spread out their tiering a little bit more. We saw a Key yesterday do some pretty crazy things. So that'll be cool. Turpitz is always a good pick in competitive. Kremlin, say no more. Ohio, no need to say anything about those either. Repulse does have its engine boost capabilities, so that will be interesting to see how they're going to be able to utilize that. Uh, that's been a challenge so far, I think, that teams have been bringing uh, repulses. They've been missing out on the ability to bring these in. Uh, so let's see what happens there. Kremlin, Kerfirst, and Yamato. Out, out of all of those, Yamato, what? I, I don't like the Yamato, but... And we'll have to see what happens. I just don't think it's that good in this kind of environment with small maps, close quarter action, and not a lot of time. You basically need all of these uh, shells to hit for Citadels for the Amato to be that useful. Um, I, I just don't see it. But I'm not playing, obviously. These guys are. And they have a plan. Because they wouldn't take a dump without a plan. Okay, shells coming out early on. Looks like the key, Odlin's key. Nothing doing there. Next set of shells coming in. Also, not much. Oh, Yamato shells coming in too. Everybody sees the key and they're like, hey, look at that though. Odlin using WASD hacks, specifically the S key, to slow down and stop and dodge all, almost all, of that incoming hurt. Very impressive. Now, this Kremlin position is kind of tenuous. Early on, it's okay. You can see the Yamato is playing Sniper in the backfield, which is what a Yamato does. But uh, that's going to allow Team Rum to get around the side of Grogs. The Key and the Kremlin can possibly push around and get on the flanks. So I think that's kind of a weak spot there, seeing both ships, both battleships in the middle like this. Maybe they thought they could cap quickly. I don't know. But uh, look at Ayayaya Bamba's repulse. Uh, I kind of feel like he might be overextending here. What do you guys think, huh? Might just be overextending just a tad. Torpedoes out on the repulse. Looks like he might take a torpedo. He's turning. He's going to take it right there. I don't think he's going to make it. I, I have, Oh, God, no. Now, yeah, he's not going to make it. Super PH's Ohio just shredding this guy. And let's see that again. Let's see that again, huh? Ouch. Or let's not because this whole thing is bugged again. Okay, whatever. Odland also coming under fire now. Showing uh, probably a little too much side to the Kerr first. Paying for that a little bit here. Odland is going down. There he goes right there, ladies and gentlemen. And just like that, it is now tied even. Of course, the difference is uh, Team Rum has lost a Tier 8 ship, whereas Tier Grox has only lost a Tier 6. Aw, uh, sublimation, that's really nice of you to say. I don't care if mods win giveaways. I think it's a little compensation for all the hard work that they put in. <laughs> Mo Daddy, I love you too, sir. <laughs> oh, new guy. New guy, why you do this? Why you do this, new guy? Did you see what just happened? 
Super PH is Ohio just slapping, slapping new guys broadside there. And see, again, Yamato has no, no presence here so far back. That's kind of what I was getting at about that positioning. And there it goes, right there. New guy, I don't know why he YOLO charged like that. Um, but Super PH now is out and exposed to at least the Kerr first, possibly soon, .tm the Amato. Ah, that was a 30k salvo. He's gonna feel that one in the morning. But he does manage to take out the Ohio, so now it's Kerfurst versus Turpitz, with the Kremlin crawling up from the rear. Now, they do have both Grogs, does have both caps. So this is okay for now. They are ticking up points, whereas uh, Rum is not ticking up any points whatsoever. There's the torpedoes. I'm surprised that the Kerfurst isn't running Hydro because he would have detected that Kremlin and known the Kremlin was there and not taken that huge slap of a, of a shot there from the Kremlin. Ouch. He'd also detect the torpedoes that are about to hit him on the butt. Takes one up the butt. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to force him to stay broadside to the Kremlin. If the Kremlin gets off the salvo, that's it for the, for the Kerfurst. He's probably dead anyway. Yeah, he's dead anyway. Alright, time for the Yamato to clean up. He spent most of the game in the backfield. Now he gets to come in and just shoot everything and win the game, right? Yamato. They are not given 36. They're given 51 points to spread out sublimation. They had originally 41 points last night. And they upped it to 51 to see what would happen. And you can see how the meta has changed. Semmer's now showing a lot of cheek to the Kremlin. Pretty much going to go out pretty quickly here. This is your typical sniping Yamato in random battles. <laughs> Sorry, Sems. And he's going to get rammed off the map right here. So let's set up for our death pick. Here we go. And that will end our game. Whew, what a death pick, huh? What a death pick. All right, so I'm going to see if...